Mr. President. I want it over as soon as possible. Gut the bill, Frank. Do whatever is necessary to Mr. end Mr. President, this. if we give in now, the public won't credit you with a victory, not even a hollow one. They'll chalk it up as a colossal defeat. Well, that's on you, Frank. You let this situation devolve to where it is. I've already been blamed for the largest teacher strike in U.S. history. I won't be held accountable for it dragging on months and months. Mr. President, we have to end this strike on your terms, not anyone else's. How? By debating Marty Spinello on CNN? Sir, you have placed your faith in me thus far. I would ask that you continue to do so. What, whatever you're doing, Frank, isn't working, so I'm stepping in. Got the bill, like Linda said. No. I'm sorry, Mr. President, but I will not do that. Are you letting pride cloud your judgment, Frank? Respectfully, sir, you're allowing fear to cloud yours. Not an easy thing to say no to the most powerful man in the free world. But sometimes the only way to gain your superior's respect is to defy him. What do we have on the schedule, Linda? Your meeting with the uh, Fed Oversight Committee. Thank you, Mr. President. Do you have my briefing? Right here. Good. Let's look it over. <laughs>